You may have noticed that some pneumatic trap machines require more than five bars of pressure that that an air compressor provides. Well, this is the answer. Uh, since the machine runs on MJ instead and strad of RF, <laughs> you must feed it power through at least one thermal expansion conduit. Hooking it straight up to a dynamo or a tensile rack will not work. Also, this generates air pressure constantly as long as it gets power. Some sort of automation regulation would be a good idea. Would be a good idea. All right. Oh God. Remember this one. Be remember this thing being really hard to make. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh God. Really? Hey, but at least I, I'm able to try these machines out. That's one good sign. I'm not complaining about making this or or these circuit boards, but the flux electrum is difficult to make sometimes. It takes a little bit to do this, so this is a pretty good way to make it. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need at least I think I'm gonna need to make at least four of these printed circuit boards, I think. Yeah, because you need two of here, you need another one. And you need another one to make <laughs> that the machine frame. Oh my god, really? Wow is this gonna take a bit. Oh man. Um let's see. But yeah, I want to try and uh, make these circuit boards from these machines here. What the fuck? Where did that come from? Oh, it came from here. I think? I don't know. Alright, so let me see. I do have a... Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I actually looked up a, a video of, um... Of uh, how you did this set up correctly. I guess I did it wrong the first time. Let me get some water real quick. But yeah, it looks pretty simple. All I had to do is um, put a redstone signal to the that machine right there, and then uh, we'd be able to get things going. And it actually looks pretty freaking cool, actually. Let me just fill this thing up before I start getting a heat stroke. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's working. I put some speed upgrades, so it's going a little bit faster. It normally doesn't go that fast, but apparently it has it has to be a PCB that wasn't charged yet. Man, look at that gold. That is so cool. <gasps> yeah. Huh, I guess I didn't need a lever. I kind of thought I did. Okay. Oh my god, that skips a step. Oh, nice. No more using a UAV light. Thank you, sir. All I have to use... What the hell is wrong with you? The cat's acting right on the floor. So all I have to use... um. I actually get these and then I can get a printed circuit board or whatever it's called. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, man. I gotta try that a couple times. And making these things isn't all that difficult, actually. Uh, let me show. Let me get some more of these plants here. So I wanna get a couple of these here. Alright, now I got three more of these. And you guys can do your job. Nice. Might want to put a coal in here just a little bit because it actually uses quite a bit of compressed air. There we go. Isn't that just cool? Honestly, that is just awesome seeing that. Man, I derped, derped up a lot from the beginning, but hey, I got it working now. Wow, that's awesome. I actually want to try and mess around with drones and stuff because apparently you can actually make them do what you want. Alright, cool. And now I don't have to use the UAV light box anymore. That's just awesome. Alright. Um, I'm still working on making that... Um, oops, another one. Still working on this. I just needed a couple more of those things here. And then that, that'll be it. So yeah, I'll be right back until I actually make that kinetic compressor thingy. Okay, while I wait for these things to finally turn into transistors and capacitors... Yep, there you go, finally. Actually, I don't think we have to wait. Wait a minute, what happened to the other piece of plastic? Oh, it went in there. Okay. Uh, the, uh, 
And all I gotta do is turn into the fuck. Whatever. <laughs> oh well. I've been having some trouble with the one on the right here. For some reason, it just does not want to put things in this, uh, you know, chamber for some reason. So I had to manually do this again. It's kind of sucked. So we're gonna have to wait for all this stuff to uh, go inside, so I can actually turn that off. Okay, so I was able to make some pyrothium, pyrothium dust. And I have to make oops, some flux electrum, which is just putting electrum blend in a fluid transposer with liquid uh, to stabilize redstone. Not too bad, I just had to pull. I'm probably gonna pulverize these. Um, four. four. Actually, yeah, I just need three. Alright, let's see. You off for a minute there. Don't need all this cobblestone with me right now. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Okay, let's see. I need to. What's this? Did I have a stack of that? Put the rest in there. Um, where is my fluid transposer? In there? Okay. there it is. Thank God. I don't have this. Put it there, why not? Okay, I'm gonna have to get the stand some power. Okay, there we go. Hardened energy conduit, so I can actually power this thing. There we go. How much does this run for? About 40. Still... I think it's still able to keep up, which is really great. This thing runs about 20, which is awesome. 40, so this all three of these things run 40, so we should be good for now. I'm gonna get a liquid. I need to get an magma crucible. Oh boy! I'll be right back until I make a machine, okay? Okay, finally. Uh, luckily, I had a extra extra machine frame laying around, so I was able to get it a little bit quicker. There we go. How much can this thing run for? 400? Oh man. I have to actually boost up to that. Oh boy, that's a lot of power. Um. Somehow it's still able to keep up. It must be like draining power from one of these generators here. Let me uh, quickly try to throw this thing up here. No, 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 no. Not that. Oh, shit. Yo. Alright, what I want you to do is to stabilize that redstone. And. Put it in there. Take that in. And there we go. Stabilize redstone. Awesome. I actually want to get quite a few bit of more redstone here. In there. Alright, let's see. How much we got in there? Yeah, let's do the rest of that. It takes... Yeah, it takes quite a bit of energy to, you know, to actually get in here. Um, let's see. Yeah, just the same amount of um, R RF usage. The hardened energy conduits. Jeez. It's pretty rough, but this is the best we can do at the moment. Do your thing. That's not what I wanted to do. My bad. Do your thing. There we go. Sweet. I don't mind having extra uh, redstone in there. Just put it in a bucket in case I need some more to save some power. 
You know what, why don't we just actually crush down one more piece of ingot, or one more piece of electrum? Why not? Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, now all I have to do is just put these two in here. And they should make the rest. Uh, that <laughs> I forgot what's called the Electrum Flux, I guess. Yeah. That's what I'm for now. I'll do something like that. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Alright, I just need one more piece. Alright, nice. Let's get that craft. And let's see. I need to use this plastic. I need that. Let's make some reports. Alright, let's see uh, let's see how many we can make for printed supports. Okay, I need to know how many I need to make here. Um I guess I can just make all of them. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, that's not how I want to do it here. Okay, let's see. I could probably give one more somewhere. But it's fine for now. I think that's the that's about it actually. So two here, two here, one here, one here. Yeah, I think that's a perfect amount. So let me try and get the machine frame and the uh, this thing here, and I will be right back. Uh, is that a creeper on a gas? That's a tiny gas. Holy crap. That is so freaking weird. Oh, I forgot. I can actually uh, try and test this out here. Let me kill these spiders real quick. It's a big spider. Jesus. Alright. Yeah. Charcoal. Now I can actually use this for uh, my uh, generators instead of just actual coal. I won't be using this thing all the time for coal, but just right now I just need coal at the moment still. So that's pretty cool. Right now, um, I need some invar, but I already have invar right now, but I kind of want to show you guys this if you don't know. Um, right now to make invar, oops, to make invar, obviously you need some pulverized ferrous and iron, but if you actually get an ingot of it, and then I made like four of that. Where's my ferris? I know I have ferris around here, but where is it? Seriously? What the hell? Okay, I know I got some ferris. Alright. I kind of thought I had some before, but whatever. So, what you can do is if you put that there and there, you can actually um, create it into invoir without having to pulverize it, which is really great, actually. I just need some, four more pieces of iron. Because I really hate having to go through the process of pulverizing the ingot and then uh, doing this, but thank god we can do that. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Machine frame, finally. And then I got some hardened glass that I got from getting pulverized obsidian and lead. Hardened. Oh, son of a bitch. Um, I think. No, 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 shit, let me make this real quick. Oh my goodness, I cannot, I need to do this off camera very soon. Alright, get the reception coil. Um, get that guy. This guy. Both guys there. And, I need some compressed iron. Which I do. And there, the kinetic compressor. That took a while. Wow, this thing looks cool though. Very cool indeed. All right. Um, I guess this guy goes up to here. But I'll, uh, I, I'm kind of worried about. Uh, this is this is very strange actually. Hold on. Problems. Uh, they just the network inputs. Okay. 
Does this thing have... Do you connect these things up? Or connect the pipes up to it? Or something? No idea. Let me try that out. I'm getting to look in there. Right, let me try this out. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what it... Oh, alright. Alright. I can put it right here, then. And just replace that thing. Alright. That's pretty cool. Uh, does this work? Um, I don't mind wasting the uh... There we go. Ah, oh, that was pretty sweet. Now all, all I have to do is put up a, like a, I guess you could say, um... If I want to get power to be piped to here, I'm gonna have to, um... Maybe either have it underground, or just put a less stone energy cell, or at least any energy cell right here. So yeah, that is pretty sweet. That took a while to make though, holy crap. Oh man. Alright, let's see if we can finally hand in that quest. Alright. Oh no! God damn it! How, mu how much does it take to make that? Advance... What's it again? Pressure tube. Where's the advanced presser tube? There it is. Whoa. Wow. Jesus. Oh my goodness. This takes so much. Okay, that... Alright, that's good. Alright, at least I don't have to go and make... Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to make a ton of those... These pressure gauges and stuff. Jesus, how much is it? Why am I looking there? Um, how do I make that? No, not that. It doesn't require a laser. Okay, that's good. Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna have to create a ton of those and all that stuff. So I'll be right back while I craft those. Craft those machine those uh, items stuff I'll be right back oh my goodness let's do it again all right oh my god it took all of it how much does this thing all right that's pretty good all right cool I don't need any more machines other than that so that's pretty good all right finally I can make the advanced pressure regulator too <laughs> awesome I'll leave it to get a couple of these tubes at the end of it all right sweet so what does this actually do a tube will that this tube will stop pressurized air from traveling through this tube when a certain threshold is reached. No way, really? That's actually pretty cool. So if I hook this up right here, this is actually going to stop the. Im that's nice because that's what I was worried about the whole time. Because if this thing continues running and press putting more and more air in here, it's going to explode. So I'm guessing this thing only. Um, so, uh, I guess this thing actually just stops it. it's oh, That's pretty nice. So I can actually have this thing hooked up all the time. Oh, man. Can't wait to get this hooked up. So, that's actually pretty nifty. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, god damn it. Um, I think I actually played that before. Um, you can read that off hand if you want to, or just read this when you're playing by yourself. Um, advanced pressure gauge tube. Alright. And, there we go. Sweet. What does this thing do? This tube emits a redstone signal of which the strength is dependent on how much pressure the tube is at. The fuck? Did I just hear a horn? That was weird because I heard that in my headphones. So outside my headphones, that's fucking weird. Now, which is awesome, I get a freaking redstone energy cell frame. Yes, that's awesome because um, that actually takes quite a bit of resources, if I'm correct. I know you need the electrum at the at first. You need a ton of fucking redstone though. That's what I. That's one thing I know. 
All right, that wouldn't have been too bad to make, even though if, even if I didn't get it from the board. All right, sweet. I will hook this up once we get a better source of power, which is probably going to be from Big Reactor. So we can have wait to start on that. All right. Under pressure is finally completed. Yes. Um, the next recording session, I actually want to finish this. I think I can probably just go ahead and continue recording a little bit longer. Complete that and this. Yeah, I think I have enough ender pearls for that. Let's see. Jen, um, actually, I'll, actually, I kind of want to end things off here. To be honest. So anyways, guys, if you want to try this map out for yourself, it's called Crash Landing. It's going to be in the third party pack tab on FTB launcher and stuff so yeah um, we got a ton of things done a ton of things finally working a lot more easier things good and all this stuff I'll see you guys later